Did did you catch the name of that one? Innsmouth Track Captain. Of course she is. She looks like she'd make captain. Here we go. Jack the lad lost his head, left it where the lovers kiss. Serves him right. Huh. So we're looking for make out point. Basically. So, I'm getting the idea that Winters might have been protective of his daughter. That was, a, actually, one of the bees said that before, too. I, I am beginning to get that idea, yes. Oh. I gotta go in the park, don't I? Yeah. <sighs> yes. These Don't pumpkin me. patches just seem to like pop up, you know. Yeah. Hmm. Well, where else are you gonna find the great pumpkin? You gotta go to the most sincere pumpkin patch. Yeah, look at that. That's an ugly pumpkin right there. It's very sincerely ugly. Oh, I gotta kill all these ghost lights. Yes. <laughs> You gotta kill them fast, otherwise they will just... Otherwise they'll split off and make another one. Like that. It tried to. Huh. And now I think... Uh, let's see if there are any left. No. Oh, hello. Well, That's... now I know where the ugly pumpkin came from. Boys and girls of every age. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa! The fuck was that? It's like swirling. Vo it's got a swirling vortex of doom. That's his laughter. Oh shit! Hey, come back here. Come back here and let me kill you with an axe. That's also kind of a hammer. Oh, you know, a hammer is just a blunt axe. That is... That is technically correct. Best kind of correct. Ah, scarecrows now. Another bedtime story, sweetling. Another tale of Archie Henderson, farmer and sorcerer. This is the story. By 1906... Archie was mad. Well, that was a short one. That's not much of a story with that's, bees. It's like three sentences. Wasn't even any vague mystical bullshit. Huh, what's that? They come from the caitiffs of society. They come from those consumed by a drive to spread misery. They are born from messy, violent deaths, often by powerful magic. Through just the right mix of these ingredients, a revenant takes shape. Their souls are so saturated by the actions they took in life that death does not claim them. They slip through, their malevolence spreading into a swarm mind, taking shape as creatures associated with Darkness and disease, ravens, rats, spiders, worms, moths, and the like. What is that thing I just picked up? This, I think this feather hates me. How can a feather hate you? I'm not questioning these things. Call it the Hobby Lantern. Or the Friar's Lantern. Call it the Will of the Lantern or the Will of the Wisp. They have seen the Wisps down in Kingsmouth Town. Even the most skeptical citizen believes in the Wisps. Everyone has a Wisp story there, sweetling. But unlike most folklore, which happens to distant relations of relations, these are tales that happened to the teller. Wisps congregate in the woods, observing customs unknowable. There is a tree out there. Some call it the Halloween tree. Most simply call it the tree, and everyone knows what they mean. They say the wisps are attracted to the tree, or that the tree births the wisps. I 
This guy keeps getting the drop on me, too. You're in Halloween Town, motherfucker. Forget it, Jake. It's Halloween Town. But there is another story, sweetling. We speak of Jack the Lad. Jack was born in Ireland in 1889. He wandered oh the roads with charm in his pockets and silver on his tongue. He played the fiddle and fiddled many and many a maiden. He hopscotched away from famine and landed on Ellis Island in 1907. He ended up in the cold fog of New England. He traversed the roads played his music and charmed his way up many and many a skirt. He had the voice of an angel, yet not a penny to show. So he took up labor as a farmhand for Archie Henderson in Kingsmouth. Oh, so this this was the actual Jack yeah. of the Lantern. Ah! I okay. I think he's just a really powerful wisp. He could be. Could be. Like he makes the body from the pumpkins, but his essence seemed to be that green flame. There! There we go. It's kind of like a wandering spirit just possessing the... Ja! Kill it! Kill it with fire! And firearms! What?! Oh god damn it, he got away! <sighs> Archie Henderson will always be the one who got away. We found him in Edinburgh in eighteen sixty three. It's pronounced Edinburgh. Edinburgh. What how is that pronounced <laughs> Edinburgh? Because Scotland. You can't imagine how pissed the Templars got when we re recruit talent out of built out of Britain. We shipped him to the academy and taught him to harness his powers. Frankly, he was beyond harnessing. Jack the Lad, a farmhand to the wrong pumpkin patch at the wrong time. Now he's the lasting legacy of what Henderson could do. Misdirected potential makes me sick. Next time you see Jack, kill him. Again. Jack O'Lantern will return. Huh. Who just left this book out here? Whose trailer is this, anyway? That's a good question. Whoa! I have angered the wisps. The wisps don't like your library finds. Oh, God, more of them. Oh. Okay. Jeez. How can a glowing ball of, of farts sneak up on you so easily? They don't make any noise. Well, true, but they're... Well, that taught us stuff. Yeah, apparently don't mess with strange books. Yep, I mean, that's... That's good advice. Here, I might as well talk to the guy who owns it. Why not? Sure, the creepy old theme park owner. He's totally on the level. Finally, 
Are you with Grace and Security? I've been trying Grace to get a hold Grace and Security? No. You wouldn't happen to have a helicopter, would you? Of course not. This is private property, but I won't belabor the fact. I'm not particularly attached to it. Who in their right mind would want an abandoned amusement park on a godforsaken island in the Atlantic? Aside from Nathaniel Winter, of course. Yeah, that Nathaniel Winter. Millionaire. Mogul. Also he has very blue eyes. Theme park tycoon. Nathaniel brought me up here during construction. And even then there were accidents. Workers falling to their deaths. Equipment malfunctioning as soon as it was turned on. Sounds Coming cursed. At night, mm -hmm. According to the crew. Coming from the rides themselves. But he was a stubborn um. son of a bitch, my father. The park opened against all odds right on schedule. Whole island showed up for the ribbon cutting. But the accidents continued. A roller coaster derailed, killing a family of three. A ten year old Oof. kid was found. Yeah. Dismembered behind the cut. Jesus. Candies. Oh my god. An employee in a chipmunk costume went berserk, stabbing two teenagers in the eye. That's the guy I saw in Agartha. What the fuck? Or at least somebody wearing his clothes. All over the papers. Some Goddamn hot guy. topic. Stayed behind while my mother uh. and I went back to Boston. Never saw the son of a bitch again. I remember Nathaniel telling me once, after the bumper cars crushed one of the engineers, that Jeez, this was what? all par for the course. Great deeds require great sacrifice, he said. That is not something normal people say. Mother, he was in a casket. He outlived everyone and left me nothing of his fortune. Except... Uh, wow. I don't want his money. And I didn't ask for the part, neither. All I want is answers. You can say a lot about Nathaniel Winter, but he never made a bad investment or a rash decision. So why in God's name did he build this park? That is a good question. That is a very good question. I've heard them. At night. The rides? They do whisper. That's not good. No. You know, hearing voices in your head is not a good sign. You should be worried about that. It is not. You know, those, those Krampuses are just out there doing their job. Their horrible job. They gave me used panties. Okay, Debbie. Never wanted to say this before. But focus on the used panties. Remember how fucked up that was. You need to hold on to that strong emotion. Why? Because you're going into the park. Oh. Let's try that. Okay. Let's see. I can be angry. I can be angry. Okay, anger you can do, but nothing else? Or... I can't be happy. Can't do even do afraid. That's, I have to do angry. That's very... That's very specific. And odd. All what right, the I mean, fuck is this thing? I don't know. It kind of looks like... A six-armed penguin monster. Ugh. Fucking creepy place. I don't want to be here. This place makes me angry. That's good. Use your anger. <laughs> Tap into the dark side. Yeah. Nothing to be afraid of, right? Yeah. I can use my dark side in here. <sighs> yeah, I can be angry in here. I hate this place. It is... I want it to die. And then it looks like it's halfway there. I want everything to die in here. I may have created a monster. Am I exactly... You know what? Maybe magic is a good idea. Maybe I should... You know, I should really start doing some magic. 
I mean, normally I'd be with you on this, but that's... I mean, you're not really the most friendly to magic. I can learn. Fuck. I mean, I've done it before. Oh, yeah, but I mean, you've created, like, well, this. No. I killed a dude. You... Oh, with with magic? Yeah. Shit, Debbie... How did it make you feel, killing a dude? I think it made me happy. Okay. But I don't feel anything right now. Okay. He deserved it. You know, I have just made a terrible mistake. I don't know. This thing's shooting at me. Fireballs. I hate it. Uh huh. What even is this place? I I don't know. It's just weird, super bullshit place. <laughs> What's wrong? Are you scared? I don't know how to deal with you when you're like this. It oh is my very. What? It is very frightening. You told me to hold on to my anger. I did not... I did not think it through. Now, I realize it's fear that holds me back from a lot of things. Oh, dear. But I don't feel afraid in here. Oh, dear. Like this. I'm just getting on a crazy yeah. Haunted Amusement Park roller coaster. Fear. I don't fear you. Not at all. Okay, De maybe pull back from some of the anger. You know, it made. Well, what should I feel? Uh, I mean, I I don't know what to tell you there. But... I guess. Daddy. Is this thing over yet? <laughs> oh, come on. That Even now you had to think that was funny. No. <laughs> come out, come out wherever you are. What kind of piss is this guy still trying to scare me? Spoiling. And you're ruining his fun, too. <laughs> Not even a jump scare. That was, honestly, that was just like a lame, lame attempt at a jump scare. <sighs> What's up? There are the Krampus in here. Of course, it's got to be Krampus. Is that a mud golem in here? I think it is. What is that even doing here? I know, right? I mean, fucking golems are everywhere. Fuck off, zombie! I don't even know if that was a zombie. You might just have been on a lot of meth. An old man with a head wound? It could yes, exactly. So you can't feel joy, but you can still make One Piece references. It's a, it's a reflex. So, okay, so let me look at this book. It's in a severed arm. That's, uh, something else. Ah, uh, Sam Creek book. Yes, you couldn't put it down. Ha! 
thank you. I appreciate the effort. There's a... So it's about some fr some kids being stalked by a monster in an amusement park. Hmm. Mm. Little on the nose. And says that they're eventually eaten by it. Of course except for one they are. Of them, except for one of them who escapes to a lighthouse. Okay, Sam's drawing a little personal experience there. But then something eats in there. Hmm. Well, we can't all be millionaire alcoholics. Oh, jeez. Drowned victim. So I guess they were part of a I guess they those guys were part of a cult. Maybe, I mean they're I mean they're sacrificed like the other death cult zombies. Uh, of course. Out of the music park, you gotta have your cults. Yeah, I found another piece. Alright, good. We collect all three, we get a free sub. The Revenant Within. Damn, he is really mixed up in all this. Yeah. He's probably, um... I mean, that's on the, that's a little on the news there. Yeah. <laughs> Probably should probably find him once I'm done with this. Yeah, I'm sure he'd I'm sure he'd love to get visits from fans. I'm not that much of a fan. Well, you say that now. Pretty sure I'll stay still say that when I get out of here. Hmm. Seems have this fair. What the fuck? Oh, what kind of Disney villain shit is this? Oh, look at his look at his arm. It's kind of gross. Mm. He only has a he's like a ten, halfway between a tentacle and just one really big finger. Oh God, he's just you. You see that? Every Tim Burton design at once. Ah, fuck! He knocked me back from it. I think maybe he doesn't like you staring at his gross tentacle arm. Look at that big goiter on his neck. Okay, yeah, disgust is disgust is still there. Okay, good. We're making a list. I don't know where dis I don't know where disgust lies on the emotional spectrum, but I'm sure it's in there. Is that a clown? It's a chainsaw clown. That is a clown. I gotta deal with this goddamn clown. Yep. It sure is a clown. What a coincidence, I was just looking, looking into this amusement park deal. Business and pleasure, I hate clowns. Totally a serial killer tale. I actually kind of like clowns. Hmm. Did not, did not anticipate that. Anyway, these things are a huge front for occult energy accumulation. Whatever that means. Somewhere on our books, the White City, Dreamland, Space Mountain. Disney. Looks like he tried to buy his way into the Illuminati in the 60s, got blown off with the It's Not Us, It's You speech. <laughs> You'll think that's funny when you get out. That makes for a man with something to prove and no way to handle it. Killer combo. Yeah, I know men like that. 
Uh, we all know men like that, honey. <laughs> Oh god. I said that while I was in there, didn't I? You did. <laughs> 